What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an analysis on CFVI ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news related to this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. As you can see, this company is a basically a SPAC company. It hadn't any type of movements uh, until the beginning of December. And then it surged up uh, for about uh, 48%. Then immediate uh, movement to the downside for about 30%. And again, another rise uh, for about 50%. And for now we are in uh, this uh, consolidation phase. So quite a massive price action. And uh, let me show you what is this company about. Uh, CF Acquisition Corporation 6 does not have significant operations. It focuses on affecting a merger, capital stock exchange, asset acquisition, stock purchase, uh, reorganization or similar business combination with one or more businesses. And uh, this uh, company spiked up uh, because of uh, this news. On December the 2nd we have this article that YouTube competitor Rumble going public via SPAC CF Acquisition 6. And let me quote you these bullets. SPAC CF Acquisition Corporation 6 jumped almost 25% in pre-market trading on an agreement to take video platform Rumble public in a deal that values the company at $2.1 billion. The transaction is expected to provide about $400 million in proceeds to Rumble, including a fully committed pipe of $100 million at $10 per share and $300 million of cash held in the trust account of CFVI, according to a statement. Rumble, which uh, some describe as a conservative alternative to Google's uh, YouTube, said it has 36 million average monthly active users in Q3 2021, including 44 million monthly active users in August 2021. So, it is uh, just a fraction of numbers uh, of YouTube, and that's why it is not the real competitor for the YouTube yet, but in my opinion, this is only the beginning of this company. And let me show you why it is uh, so important. On the next uh, article that was published on December the 6th, we have uh, this title. Rumble SPAC CFVI surges again on report of distribution deal with Trump. And let me quote you these bullets. Counter federal uh, CEO Howard Atlantic, whose firm stated CF acquisition, said in a Bloomberg TV interview on Friday that Trump's truth social, social media platform has a deal with Rumble for distribution. I can confirm that they have an agreement together with Truth Social is going to be paying Rumble to do distribution, Counter federal CEO Atlantic said on Bloomberg. And let me show you this article. We are on Investor Place and it was published just 8 hours ago and it's titled Is CFVI stock the next DWAC? The new Trump trade rallies ahead of Rumble's Park merger. And let me quote you this paragraph. There is one key difference between CFVI and DWAC to note though. As high as it's uh, shot up uh, during its breakout, DWAC still has nothing to offer investors until the 2022 launch of uh, Truth Social, Trump's social media platform, which is still in development. Rumble, on the other hand, is a fully functioning company that sees uh, new videos uploaded often. Additionally, according to recent reports, the platform saw viewer engagement increase by 44x from Q2 2020 to Q3 2021. While investors wait for news on Truth Social, they can watch Rumble's number increase, particularly as news of the recent SPAC merger has given the company considerable media coverage. And let me show you this uh, website. It is a rumble.com and it is quite similar to YouTube basically. And uh, it has uh, some differences in uh, minor details. And uh, basically it is a 100% operational company and uh, they basically have a product. And it is a very good sign that uh, they already have uh, a business model, they already have uh, a development team and so on and so forth. And that's why let me show you on uh, stocktweets.com. This company is on the sixth place on uh, the trending section. And uh, it is uh, on the first place on most active section, 
with more than uh, 13.5 thousand uh, messages uh, during last 24 hours and uh, also on the first place uh, on the watchers section so and this means uh, this uh, asset has a very good momentum it has a very good product and because of the Trump's uh, support this asset might be a very attractive uh, from the fundamental standpoint uh, to put your money at least for the short term at least to gain the momentum to catch this momentum and let's continue with the technical analysis but before we dive deep right here please subscribe to my channel hit notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot so guys we clearly see two impulsive movements to the upside and we are in consolidation phase right here and uh, from the uh, Elliott Waves perspective, we might have, uh, this is our first wave, this is our deep second, this is our third wave, fourth retracement, and we have to form uh, another wave uh, to the upside, or we should have uh, this wave as a failed wave. So, most likely, because of uh, this formation, we have to have a breakout to the upside. Because, uh, let me show it to you right here, we have uh, the triangle formation at this uh, consolidation phase, and this triangle usually breaks to the upside. And how we can uh, confirm the breakout? Definitely, the breakout will be confirmed by the volume. If the volume on the candle that will break uh, this uh, support, this resistance to the upside or this support to the downside will be massive, will be at least comparable to this one or much better comparable to this one. It will confirm the trend and it will confirm the trend uh, at the direction of the breakout. And uh, if uh, this uh, layout is correct, we have to project uh, the target of the fifth wave. And because of this retracement that is overlap the first wave, we couldn't have uh, the fifth wave that uh, will hit uh, very high targets. But nevertheless, if I pull the Fibonacci extension tool from this bottom to this top of the third wave and to the bottom of the retracement, we have uh, this target at 0.786 Fibonacci extension at the price point of 16.36 as our primary target. And uh, let me mark it for you. So, if uh, we will break uh, this formation to the upside with the conviction of volume, our next stop might be right here. And it doesn't mean that we shouldn't break uh, some higher targets, but uh, to be more conservative, we have to break first of all this one. And from our current price, we might have about uh, 23%, 22% to this target and the downside potential, your stop loss uh, might be at this uh, previous bottom and uh, it might be about 7.8%. Uh, uh, so, if uh, you want to enter the position, just accumulate uh, your position on the movement to the downside, but uh, put your stop loss slightly below this uh, bottom or this bottom. And in this case, you will have more attractive average price. And in case if we will break uh, this formation to the upside with a good conviction of volume, your potential profits might be, let me show it to you again, if you will average your price down and your profits might be up to 26%. And it is only the first step. So, I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!